So, let me tell you the story of how my dumbass had an existential crisis at 3 in the morning. Well, it all started with the game Before Your Eyes that I watched, and in the hands of mental instability, leads to temptation. Temptation. Oh my god, I look so tired. So I'm gonna be getting a shag. It's basically like, come on, but not really. Okay, so we're just gonna start right now. There is no going back. What am I doing this? I don't know why I'm doing this. So if you cannot tell, I am extremely nervous. <laughs> um, the good thing about a shag is, or soft mullet, is that it can be messy because it is meant to be messy. That's really helpful. And side note, don't use scissors that I'm using. Use proper cutting scissors because, I mean, hair cutting scissors because that will make everything look nicer. But I don't have one, so I decided to just use regular scissors. Well, we'll find out how that turned out. Woo! <laughs> anyway, so basically my knowledge in haircutting is based on youtube videos so you should not trust me at all this is a face of a person regretting their life decisions so basically what i'm doing and what a lot of youtube videos told me to do is to park your hair as you do and you just go by sections and just cu start cutting and I'm going on an angle. Oh, I, can't, I can't explain this properly, okay? I'm going to link a video down below. So if you want to actually cut your hair, um, that would be a better tutorial. Yay. Anyway, yes. So parting my hair and then just cutting it and feathering it out. So apparently feathering it out is just like putting your scissor upwards and just cutting so that it kind of blends the strands together. Yeah, that kind of makes, makes sense. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about the game. The reason why this all started. Again, it's called B Before Your Eyes and I watched PewDiePie watch out uh, play it. And um, it's basically all about death. Basically, you are a soul and you've been fished out from this body of water by a fairy man and this fairy man will take you to the gatekeeper, tell her your story or it, tell it your story and when it likes your story, then you can go to paradise basically and um, yes, the thing is it doesn't turn out the way you think it would turn out and it's just very sad it's very sad story and the um, voice actors were freaking amazing I guess that's one of the driving forces one of because everything else was also beautiful but I do rec recommend I do recommend that you watch or play the game yourself because it is really good and you're gonna cry and also get a shag and probably regret it later. So I completely forgot to um, explain the mechanics of the game. So basically the game centers around blinking and that's how you interact with objects in the game and it also every time you blink um, that is when time starts to pass by. So you kind of get the concept and the metaphor of the story is that time passes by in a blink of an eye. And since it was three in the morning, I was thinking about a lot of hefty stuff and how I'm currently really young right now. And um, in a matter of seconds, I am going to be very old, and not only me, but the people around me, especially my parents, and that's gonna make me cry, man. So, um, 
I don't know what was going on with me. So the point is, I should really just um, enjoy what's going on right now and stop, stop worrying about the future because it's going to happen and no matter how many times you plan out your future, it's definitely not going to turn out the way you want to. And so that is why enjoying the right now is very important and and also to appreciate what you have right now. Anyway, I don't know why I went all philosoph philosoph Yes, I can say words. I don't know why I went all ph philosophical there. <laughs> but yes, that is basically what was going on in my mind. See, games don't cause violence. They just give you existential crisis at 3 a.m. which leads you to cut your hair so bleh and so we're nearing the end and so i'm just feathering out and trimming and cutting everything and so my arms are killing me man they they're just tired from holding my hair and the scissors as well I mean, a little bit of exercise won't hurt you. My arms do look like ramen noodles, and that's not attractive. So, yes, I was standing in the bathroom for about an hour or more because I was listening to music and just jamming out, so that kind of took up a lot of the time. And as you can see, it's kind of taking shape into what I want it to. Um, I'm also contemplating whether or not I should re-diet um, because my roots are getting really long and that doesn't really look that good. So I might re-diet after I cut it. Um, my mom is definitely going to kill me. I swear I could just imagine the chinelas just flying over my head. And so after I cut my hair, I decided to dress up a little, put on a little makeup as you will. And um, <laughs> I also decided to um, style my hair with curling iron. Um, I only curled like the front parts because um, you won't see the back parts in the pictures anyway. So um, I'm not gonna waste my time on the back parts also. I can't reach it, okay? <laughs> it's just tiring. <laughs> and obviously, I did take some pictures. Um, you'll see me taking some pictures because I am a narcissist. But yeah, you'll see how they turned out. And if you want to see a better picture, you could, you know, follow me at masu underscore underscore chan on Instagram. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.